which is a bunch of like the weird freshmen that you think might shoot at the school and they're all in like the programming classes. <laughs> Why are they rock climbing? I don't know, like, I think, I don't know, it scares me. But I just think, now that I rock climb with them, and they consider me their leader, I'm not gonna get shot, so. That's nice. I guess it's for the better. <laughs> like, I'll get a text that says, just don't come to school, and I'll be like, alright man, you do you. Alright guys, that was the last kill, and now we are done and ready for today's episode. What is going on? It is Captive RS, and we are here for the third episode on Allura. I've finished my grinding of uh, Calphrites finally, so we're going to uh, figure out what I'm going to do. But before we do that, we're going to open up all of these uh, caskets with money in them. That was actually 100k. Another 100k. Oh, are they just all 100k? Alright, that's cool. So basically, I bought all this gear, so I'm broke, and that's all the money I have now, which is pretty awesome. But we finally finished the Slayer task. So, um, yeah, let's go get our next one, and then we can see what we have to do. We're going for an extreme task. Let's see what we got. Eight general gargadors. I said that wrong, but it's going to be interesting. Oh, I actually started to do smithing because I had a bunch of extra stuff, and yeah, so we're already to level 33. I'm just going to grind this for a little bit longer here, and then I'll get back to you guys. Out to Zach on RSPS. I mean, if you guys haven't heard of him, I mean, you should go check him out. Great content. But besides the point, he just got a whip, and he's making me feel bad about myself, so I'm going to cancel this Slayer task that I got because I don't feel like doing this. Um, yeah, yeah I understand. I... Oh, ah, see, now I'm, I'm misclicking. I'll be back once I can figure out how to cancel the damn task. Guys, guys, it's, it's, it's 40 points! I'm going broke. I wasn't recording, but it was free, so that overreaction was for nothing. Now I feel stupid. God bless. Idiot the last time. We're not doing an extreme task. We're doing a hard task so I get some type of monster. Actually, 10 demonic gorillas. God bless my life. Really? Alright, well, we'll figure out how to do this because I was planning on doing range for this and I have level 1. We still might try it just for the shits. So after getting that demonic gorillas task and then realizing that I needed to get some food before I go there, I am a freaking idiot. I haven't been wearing boots this entire time and I'm sure somebody's noticed it. In the last video, it just hasn't said anything to me. God bless, I'm so dumb. So now I gotta buy some boots, so basically my 700,000 that I was saving to buy a whip is now going to be thrown down the drain because I will be broke once again. <laughs> Go to Demonic Gorillas after buying a Ring of Wealth and some climbing boots, and then I see this goddamn level of 275. That's a little scary, but we're gonna do the task anyways. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Further inspection, these guys right here at the start count towards it, and you know what they drop? They drop some big bones. Do you guys know what they say about big bones? It, they're, they're big gorillas, that, that's why. I'm getting sucked deeper into the cave. Alright guys, as you can see right there, did I just leave a crate? Oh hell no, I did not just leave a crate there. I did not just leave a crate there on the ground. Oh, they were javelin shafts. I freaked out for javelin shafts. All right, well, we finished the task. That's all that matters. Let's go get another Slayer task. Yay, so much fun. Woo, need another assignment. A hard task. 108 black demons. Woo, fun. You guys are thinking, what am I doing in here? Because I just got that Slayer task and I was so excited and everything like that. Okay, you don't need to freak out here. I'm going to be working on range for a little bit here because I thought it was a little lacking and I mean, I really should work on it eventually here, but I'm trying to figure out which one of these beautiful people I have to talk to in order to get some of that nice, good stuff. And basically while I was doing that, I found out that this gentleman right here, if I, if I can get in here quick enough, this gentleman right here sells some fancy boots and I don't care how much they cost, I'm going to buy them. They, they didn't cost anything. So now we got some beautiful skilling boots, but yeah, I should really get into uh, getting ready for some arranged attack practice here because obviously with number one in that category, I'm going to be absolutely terribly AIDS at it. So I have a lot of rune arrows. I'm trying to contemplate if I should use them or not, but that's besides the point, guys. I will get back to you guys when something more interesting with this ranged attack is happening. 
Bye, but oh, oh god, <laughs> holy scream glitch. This guy right here named Copa Copa keeps stealing my yak kills and it's making me mad. By the way, we're at 78 range. Um, this is going to have to be the end of today's video because I mean, I don't know what I was thinking. I've waited like four days to uh, edit this whole video together. Well, not four days, it felt like a long time. Sorry about that. But basically, I found out the best money making guide. It's sitting here and stealing iron uh, knives from people's yak kills. So, yeah, it's making me about 2k an hour. I am super, super happy. No, it, it's really boring. I haven't really done anything. I got to 80 range. That was about it. I don't remember if I said that in the last clip, but I'm going to grind on farming today. So, that will be done before next episode, hopefully. But thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Captive TV. I'm sorry to all the headphone users that were watching that clip in the middle. That's my bad. I thought it was pretty funny, though. So thank you so much for watching. Once again, I will see you guys in the next video.